What's you guys got another video microsoft forcing an automatic update to windows 11 24h2 this automatic update targets only devices that are not managed by it departments users can still change the time to restart uh, their device or even postpone the update i'll show you that a little bit later on but you can see here Microsoft have said we have reached a new stage in the phased rollout of Windows 11 version 24H2 eligible devices running home or pro editions of Windows 11 version 23H2 and 22H2 will be gradually updated to the version 24H2. This automatic update targets only devices that are not managed by IT departments. So users can choose the time to restart their device or postpone the update so you have no real control unless you completely uh, block this update and do it when you're ready and i'll show you how to do that a little bit later on in the video i have covered videos on this topic before about microsoft will be forcing this update on people so if you don't want to wait for the automatic update you can check the updates and i'll show you that also in a second as well where you'll see it there as a, an optional install but basically uh, they are going to be starting to roll this out as an automatic update. So you'll have no choice if you don't do something about it and pause it or stop it from updating if you want to stay on, say, 23H2, because that still has quite a lot of life left in it. Now, there's still a few uh, bugs with 24H2. Now, I understand that some people have rolled this out on their computer and they're having no issues at all. But remember, the world doesn't revolve around you. There's millions of computers out there. And again, it does affect some people's computers. It affected my computer, and I'm pretty sure that it's affected other people's as well. There is resolved uh, messages here on their board. And if you can keep an eye out for the known issues and what fixes they've done, because they have done quite a few fixes on this particular build, to 24H2 build, and you can see them here, and it says resolved. But there is still some issues with it uh, for some people. So it might be okay for some people to roll this out it's entirely up to you whether you go ahead and roll out this update on your system or you can just that you know leave your system alone and let microsoft roll out this update so if you look inside your windows updates area here on this system right here it says windows 11 version 24h2 is available now this is an optional uh, install so you can actually install this yourself by hitting the download and install button but this will soon become an automatic install, which means you will have no control over it. You could wake up one morning and it's already downloaded and installed. It will give you the option to restart your PC when you're ready, but you'll have no control over when this is installed on your computer because Microsoft are now starting to roll this out as an automatic update. You can pause it up to five weeks here using the paused updates method, but I would not do that method. I would use a much better a uh, more secure method if you don't want to roll out this update to 24H2. Now I'm on 23H2 and I plan on staying on that version for quite some time until a lot of this stuff is fixed and also until I decide to roll my system out to 24H2 in the future. But I'm staying on 23H2 for now. So I'm opening up the group policy editor by typing GPO in the search if you're on Windows 11 Pro and above. You can go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, and come down to Windows Components. And then once you're down to here, come all the way down until you see Windows Update. And we want to click on Windows Update here. Now on the right hand side here, you're going to see Manage Updates Offered for Windows Update right here. Go into that folder here. And there's a couple of options inside here if you want to stay on 23H2. If you're on 22H2, that is end of life and you will need to roll out an update to 23H2. I'd advise you to do that or even 24H2 because it is out of date and you're not going to be receiving security updates. But here we have one right here saying select the preview builds and feature updates are received. And here you can put enable and you can then put in the amount of days that you want to do here. So for instance, 364 days, you could put that into this box right here. And then once you've done that, uh, you'll be able to then put the date. So depending on how long you want to pause it for you would put the amount of days in there and then you have to put the format inside here which will be year month and day so make sure you put it in that format otherwise it's not going to work okay so 2025 and then put a dash and then you would put the month which is this month 
and then you would put obviously uh, the day that you want it to start from. So that is there and then you can apply an OK and basically it's going to stop that update being rolled out to you until that day if you want to stay off it. Now be careful because you might go beyond uh, the end of life there and that means you're going to be using an outdated version of Windows. So only do this if you are willing to understand that and you need to obviously then upgrade a little bit later on down the line. There's another area here saying select the target feature updates version. This is another option you can do, which is a better option in my opinion. Uh, and here we can put say Windows 11 in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here. And also move down to the target win Windows version feature that you want to stay on. And we want to stay on 23H2. So I'd put that in that box right there and it will just keep me on 23H2. And again, you have up until I think it's October or November 2025 for 23 h2 before it becomes end of life so you've still got a bit of time there's no need to rush uh, for that particular update you don't have to start rushing out and going to 24 h2 you will still receive all your security updates and all the same updates that 24 h2 gets you will get them on 23 h2 up until end of life so there is no rush to update if you don't want to if you're on windows 11 home you can use these uh, registry keys here i'll leave them in the video description for you just open up a terminal window and then add these in one at a time and it will add these registry keys in for you uh, and it will stop uh, from doing that feature update automatically and it will keep you on 23h2 if you want to stay on whatever version you can amend these to whatever you like here but all you need to do is copy these one at a time Go into a Windows terminal here and push enter and it'll add that registry key in to the registry and it will then keep you on that system. Now, this is the same as group policy. That's all group policy editors doing is adding these registry keys in there. And I'll show you exactly where it will go because I've already enabled it on this PC. So let me go to registry edit here and we'll open up the registry editor. And what you'll need to do is in this location right here, if you want to see it, is H key local machine and it will be inside software here. Open that up and then come all the way down here and we're looking for policies. Open policies up and then go into Microsoft. And then we want to come down to where it says Windows. So let's expand that a little bit there. So come down to Windows and then expand that window. And then we need to come down to Windows Update. And on the right hand side here, you're going to see three registry keys that have been added. This has been added by the group policy that I've added, but you would be adding these in on your Windows 11 home. Uh, these keys here, you can see 23H2. And it also says the target release version and the product version is Windows 11. So it would be these keys here, you'll be adding these in. So rather than adding the keys in manually, you can add these into a terminal window and it will basically uh, put those keys in for you exactly what they're meant to be so that's how you can do it it's very simple and easy to do and if you look at the windows 11 home and pro versions page here it will tell you exactly here it is november 2025 so we have right up until november 2025 before it reaches end of life so there's no need to rush right now and start installing 24h2 on your system if there's still bugs and still issues on it and you don't want to do it then you've got up until that point to make a decision on what you need to do then. Eventually, you're going to have to either go on to 24H2 or the next version after that if it's released in that time. You can skip that version if you wanted to. But doing this right here will give you more control over your Windows updates and stop Microsoft from automatically forcing an update on you when you might not want to update just yet. So that is the best way to go about doing it. Anyway, it's up to you whether you roll out your update automatically or whether you pause it, like I've showed you right there. That's your choice at the end of the day. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.